upper body session we've got going on today. So first exercise, we're going to hit the landline, the pull to push, uh, rotation again. Uh, keep the same weight as last week. So we're going to be more explosive, more powerful, more, more, not more faster, faster uh, movement this week. And then with the, we're going to do still do the drop catch, pull up, chin up, switch grip. And then we'll go out uh, this week with the, the roll to throw. We're actually going to do kind of a, a walk or run or more of a dive into it rather than the crawling, which we've been doing for the last few weeks. So it was just a, another way to do it, another version to it. You can take any exercise, any movement, and progress it, regress it, whatever you want to call it, refine it. Just do different variations to get a different, little bit different stimulus, but a lot of the same uh, movement. So as long as you're using, you're getting a good stimulus from it, you're getting uh, what you want out of the exercise, out of the movement, then that's all you need. Uh, again, this is my, these first three are more working on speed, power, and then we'll get into more strength-based stuff uh, in the rest of the workout. So let's get going. Be an athlete for life, guys. We're camera's a little off here, but we're gonna stick with our push pull kind of super sense here. So uh, more strength base. We're working up to a heavy set of two here. Today we're gonna do a pin press. So press from the pins out about I don't know, three four inches above my chest. So just not gonna get again same with the squats we did yesterday. No momentum, so we're not gonna use the down the momentum on the the stretch reflex whatever the momentum whatever you want to call it on the way down and back up so it's just we're going to start from the pins and just explode up explode up explode up again as we get heavier we're not going to be able to explode but that's the intention to always be pushing fast in our horizontal press and then we're going to do just a single arm uh row maybe we'll do that too we're gonna i think we're gonna do that reset every rep on the row as well on the ground so just explode it up so not worry about so much on the eccentric, the lowering, just put it on the ground and just explode it right up from the ground. A dead, kind of a dead stop there on those. Just thought maybe that'd be maybe a good idea on those too. So we'll do those, so single arm row, uh, dead stop row, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to do our spine mobility. So we're going to, we're, I think we're going to do that one over the ball again where we go kind of in a, I don't know what they call it. You see it like flexible people do all the time where they're just laying in their quads uh, or stretch back, shins, heels back. Uh, hard to explain, you'll be able to see it, but I'll extend the spine over a med ball, reach the shoulder or reach the arms overhead. Uh, that's what we're gonna do for that. So uh, hitting, we'll work our way up to heavy set of two, set to five probably on the dead stop rows and we'll bend the spine. So let's get back to work.
like that one, get a little quad stretch to it. Picked that one up when I was up at, trained at Yoakum's last year. We did something like that. Let's do one. 